Okay, so your plan is to travel back to Murcomb? Yeah, I, and yeah. I guess I guess I'll run it by everyone else again. Are we comfortable like staying there, or would we really rather risk that travel back into Grimmel? Which which character are we currently missing? We're missing Joe Vargas. Or Vargas. I'm gonna be honest. I'm uh, comfortable going back, but I don't care either way. So have at it. Did you say you were uncomfortable going back? I'm fine going back. Going back to town. Yeah, like a- after trips. It, to head back to Grimmel, I personally, if that dragon wants to show up, I'll give him another error to the eye. It, it'll be fine. Especially if you if we save that spell and knock him to the ground, a lot of us, at the very least, Joseph can kill the thing probably. So I, I guess we know what to do against the dragon, but now we're down an archer, um, so it's something to consider. But I am fine with it if you are. Uh, I will. What is it that uh, wing wing fall downdraft or whatever? That's a third level spell, though, right? I think so. Yeah. I think downdraft is a second level spell. I think updraft is a first level spell. Downdraft up-draft. is a third level spell. Really? Oh wow. Uh, it's really nice though because it only allows spell resistance. It doesn't. It ignores. I mean, you can save, but it's, you still plummet fifty feet, which is good enough if it tries to strafe us. Uh, yeah, to some degree, but, um, it, uh, generally only came within, like, 40 feet of you, so wouldn't be that tremendous of a fall. Well, it's less about the distance it falls and more about the fact that it's on the ground and prone. How long does it stay on the ground for? It, it pushes them to the ground and knocks them prone. It doesn't keep them there in any other way. They they hit the ground, they take falling damage, and the falling damage knocks them prone. Is it immediate action? Uh, no, I think you have to ready an action to do it against a dragon. Yeah, that might not be too bad. The thing is, it's a third level spell. And this is the first time I ever actually feel like I, I wish I had another third level spell. Well, don't worry. When you level up two more times, you'll get another third level spell. At what point, at what level do we get to say you don't get any of the bonus spells? Is it, um... He doesn't get any bonus spells now. Wow. Third level, that's true. He has a 15 15 wisdom, and that gives you a bonus second level spell. Oh, so at the moment you can't even cast six level spells. Okay. That is true. If I had six level spells, I guess. No, I'm just curious. Are you actually going to be able to cast all your spells by the time you hit them? Like, Uh... ninth level by 17? I, Assuming I'm, no items, I'm going to be a level eight on eight spell on level eight spells, and I'm going to not get ninth level spells until twentieth level. Although, also those books of inherent uh, bonuses exist, and by that time we'll have enough money to get one. So, <laughs> your goal is to read. I like it. Stay in school, kids. How expensive are those books? Now I got to look at those. Doesn't yeah, like the, like the manual of bodily exercise or whatever else they're called. Yeah. Yeah, generally they're not something you can buy. Um, you can on occasion find a copy of them. Uh, it's one of the reasons you go de- de- uh, dungeon delving. Um, but you can find a wizard who can cast the spell and just get him to cast it on you. Yeah, or you can, yeah, wish is equivalent. Yeah, wish and miracle are the same, so uh, you can do it that way. Oh, okay. If you read the description of Wish and Miracle, there are specific rules for boosting ability scores. I don't think it really comes into play with anyone in this party because I don't think anyone has an ability score that's low enough that they would want to boost it and get extra perks for it. But um, I did set it up for the odd uh, peasant encounter because I've had players go, oh, yeah, if we do this... Like you have a peasant with an eight intelligence and you give him a wish, nothing happens by the rules because a nine intelligence is the same as an eight intelligence. But uh, if you're, I think if you're between eight and 12, you jump right to 12. Oh, okay. Which is a substantial increase for anyone. And generally your intelligence is the determining factor in how good you are 
and how, um, uh, what do they call it? Productive you are. The smarter you are, the more likely you are to do things in an efficient way and you have more skill points and all that kind of stuff. So you have more skills in general. So your market value is higher. Mm. Very cool. Yeah, so hypothetically, if the game even goes that long, I could buy a wish to get a point of wisdom. Yeah, or I, I could do just... that. I I'm not not worried about your wisdom outside of making fun of you, and that it's not going to come into play until your eighth level. By the time you're eighth level or your fifteenth level, when you can't cast eighth level spells, I'm certain that you'll have a high enough wisdom. Yeah. The, the reason that I was mocking you wasn't the inability to cast high-level spells. It's the lack of bonus spells you get. Oh, I know, I know. I just wanted to highlight it just to point out another flaw. <laughs> like, I have made the character choice to take a 16 Wisdom so that I could take an 18 Strength as a Cleric because I was a War Cleric. I was like, yeah, by the time I have third-level spells, I'm not going to be that worried about my spell-casting abilities because I have lots of spells. But it does bite you in the ass when you don't get a bonus uh, fourth level spell because that is hard to swallow. Yeah. For the record, I've never seen anyone play a straight cleric and take a 15 wisdom. Well, I took a 14 wisdom. I boosted it at fourth level. Yes, I know. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I guess let's just be prepared to fight a dragon, I guess. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess we'll go to the Dwargar. Well, well, we were... We went back to Grimmel, right? Yep. Yeah. And I was going to buy a bow. Well, I was looking at harpoons, but we never discussed that, so we'll just go back to the bow. I don't have a problem with the harpoon. Uh, we looked up the stats on it and whatnot, and it's totally fine with me. Yeah. What was the range on the harpoon? Uh, 50 feet, the length of the rope. That's pretty decent distance to throw 50 feet of rope. Like, 50 feet of rope weighs like 10 pounds, doesn't it? Uh, if it's silk rope, it's 5 pounds. Oh, sorry, it's 30 feet. Yeah, the problem with 30 feet is the bra you already know the dragon's breath whip is 40 feet, so he never comes within 30 feet. That was uh, Vasca's weakness, is that his breath weapon only goes out 30 feet, so the dragon never take the range close increment. Enough. Yeah, in the case of a harpoon, you could probably do that. But um, what was what was it you wanted to do, Joseph? I'm fine with either. We were also talking about pooling gold for Vasco to get his ship back, since it seems like it might not be as straightforward as we had initially hoped. Well, I really didn't lose a hell of a lot. Like, all I'm really missing that mattered was my belt. I'm a little salty about losing my book, but I actually haven't used it to this point. Uh, but my belt and my backpack, everything else was pretty standard run-of-the-mill shit. Oh, my dagger, but that's 400 gold. And the amulet of Khan, right? For the DC? So if we get you a belt and an amulet of Constitution, then that's... Can I ask what was special about forward, the book? Right? Oh, it just gave me a plus five to knowledge checks, uh, untyped, like, f well, three times a day as a swift action. Seems like a very I forget how it worked, but it was a specific magic item you wanted, and you got it, and then never used it. Seems like a very dangerous book to give to the Underdark, but that's fair. I don't think he's planning on giving it up. I think his point is it's not important to his functionality in game. Oh, I, I thought we were moving on to the. I, I wasn't sure what's going on. Yeah, if, if you want to buy me a new belt or something, we just sell it when I get back or something. 
uh, or I can just like keep it as a backup and upgrade the other one. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, they, isn't that I, like a specific kind of belt? Do they have that here? Yeah. What What was the belt? Uh, Dragon Spirit Cincture. Yeah, I don't think that's something you're gonna be able to get in a dwarven keep that's this small. Yeah. I, honestly, I'm fine. Like uh, uh, an amulet of Khan would be helpful. Um, amulet of Khan is super easy to get. Dwarves love Khan. Yeah, but that's like four grand. Um, so we still have the, I think, twenty four hundred from Ferenc. So you said you spent some of that on Vasca. The I didn't have enough of mine, and you said I. I thought you had said you were fine. Maybe I didn't verbalize, and if so, I, I, I might have said that. I I was fine with it. I just want to keep track. Um, yeah. Um, so I had I I have it listed that I gave you three thousand nine hundred ninety four uh, gold and then uh, forty seven copper. Uh, forty. Well, four silver, seven copper. Yeah, yeah, forty seven copper. You're right. Um. So then, that's how much is it now? Well, I thought we were going to get it back. So. Um, but yeah, right now it was uh, 1600 so let me see here. I would also like to point out I've been kind of built incorrectly because I was using a feat every third level as opposed to every odd level. So, oh, yeah, um, that'd make a difference. Yeah, I'm actually a little ahead. Like My base stats are 3d6 damage. The belt adds one, but I just grabbed a feat that gives me two. So I'm, I'm, I'm blowing for 5d6 fire right now. I should be okay. Oh, that's pretty nice, yeah. What feat is that? That sounds really awesome. It's one I worked out with uh, John. Ah, nice. Because there's not a lot of, like, yeah, there's not a lot of, like, support for the class. Yeah, supernatural abilities kind of get the short end. So we agreed that the uh, feat for 2D, you know, two dice on your breath weapon is, is fair. I think you can technically grab a uh, whatever boost ability or whatever in the monster feet. Yeah, there's a bunch of little things you can do. It's just that so much of the game is oriented towards player based stuff that when you play a monster based character, you just don't have the support because there aren't hundreds and thousands of people coming up with ideas for monster stuff. You make an orc, it has this ability, you're done. Very fair. I remember when I played Baldur's Gate and I was fighting the red dragon in the second uh, version of it and the first thing he cast was stone skin and I was like, what the fuck? How the fuck is this dragon casting spells and that doesn't seem fair? <laughs> oh yeah, all like half the enemies in that game just have like a triggered uh script where they just cast like five spells the moment you see them. And yeah, but to... all the times that I'd ever faced a dragon in D D, it was a stat block in the player's handbook or in the monster manual. It wasn't like, oh yeah, and then he has this magic item and he's using this and he has that and it was like, no. The most the DM ever did to fuck with the dragon is give it max you're, hit. Points. I think you're cutting out. I left the chat earlier because I was showing gray bars and apparently I went red again. I don't know what keeps causing that. But basically, sure. um, having a dragon be anything more than the stats in the book can be devastating. Um, like, even something as simple as... Yeah, like the whole point of dragons is that they're not just big and scary, they're intelligent. Like, that's supposed to be what sets them apart from everything else. So I, I love it when dragons just like, no, I yeah, love also I have a horde full of magic items to fuck you over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I love doing that. And I am very liberal with the magic items that I give out to players, but I almost always give them to the monster first. Like you rarely find a cool magic item that a monster has that he's not using against you first. For sure. And I feel completely validated giving a, fifth level party a plus two ring of protection if a monster was wearing it and you had to kill him to get it if you find it on the ground i think that's fucking cheesy but if you kill someone who has it even if it isn't reasonable for that person to have it like the guy who finds the hand of vecna 
one longsword to the head and he's dead. He's not hard to kill as long as you surprise him before he gets to use the hand. But every successive person who takes the hand is going to be more and more powerful. So yeah, do we do we have money to buy a Vasca and Amulet of Constitution? That would be the the easiest thing to get him before we leave. I have zero gold, so that's up to you guys. Uh, okay, so I only have twenty four hundred. Yeah, unfortunately, sorry. How much have you got, Vasca? I have the equipment they loaned me. So I'll pay two thousand of my gold, and then two thousand of the. Well, I guess all the gold in Xander's care, and then. Well, I have lots of gold, so. You want the four grand? It uh, honestly, it's entirely all. You, all we're doing is bumping my save DC up by one. Yeah, that's fair. And it's then nice. and your hit points. One, yeah, six hit points. Like it's not, it's not enough to to really split hairs about. Like I mean, if you that's say that, deter- but you are the one that got captured. So, well, also like I think that was a strategic blunder more than anything. I'm just saying, like, yeah. the guy who got captured probably shouldn't say it's only six hit points. Well, like you said, he also has more feats and stuff now. I, I think we can go for it, and then um, ideally we'll find some of his equipment or some equivalent equipment to replace it with. Um, Alright, I took it out of my money. Okay, uh, let me take half of it, if that that's fine with you. So you'd pay 2000 and then I'll pay 2000 Can you afford that when you're not taking any money from this trip? Well, that that's what I'm saying. It's from Xander's uh, money that he's he's overseeing for me because uh, Vasca got captured um, due to our. I mean, in, in Ferenc's eyes, this is due partially due to his unwillingness to uh, let the Duergar remain dead. Nice. Left that I'm, to what? Not sucking. Twenty-one. Yes. Yes. Exactly. What do you mean? A 20 will give me something. That's true. A 20 will give you something. Yeah, didn't... So you had uh, 8,000 gold pieces in trust? 4,000. That went down to 2,400. Oh, I thought you paid the 6,000 to rescues Vasca. Uh, no. I paid it, but... Yeah, I I paid it, but uh, some of the money I paid with had to be from Ferenc because I didn't have enough to afford it. For oh, oh okay, that's fair. I don't care how you do it as long as you're tracking me. So, what's the plan here? Uh, they have paid it for the con. Uh, Ferenc did 18, Joseph did 18. You have a ammo con, don't forget it, or we will beat you in the head with a shoot. All right, I will add that to my uh, sheet. And as soon as I find uh, my old one, you can have this one. Everyone needs an amulet of con. Wait, sorry, what? When you guys get, when he gets back his other one, then you guys can have this one and do whatever you want with it. Ah, uh, cool. It's got to be someone in the party who would want an amulet of con, like the guy I with mean... the twelve constitution. I mean, if you know it's there, and I mean, right, he's, he's, he's been rolling hot on his uh, on his hit dice. Don't don't dismiss him. Yeah, how do you have sixty six hit points and Joseph only has fifty nine? I rolled a nat ten on the last level and a nat nine on third level. Nice. It's better and to I've be been, lucky than good. And I've been taking average since second level. Fair enough. All right. Uh, so with that out of the way, I think we're good to go. So is it DC seventeen now? I can't see. Say what? The DC for you is seventeen now. Oh, there we are. My DC? Yeah, for your bro. Is easy. My DC see. is 21. Oh, never mind. Carry on with your life. Uh, so before that was venturing... another reason why it was kind of meaningless was because uh, they almost never save against him anyway, so his DC means mostly nothing. Was there a welcoming group for us? 
Uh, yes, there is. So, so you... before venturing in, I will cast Shield Other on Xander and Joseph. Uh, I will ask Vasca if he wants it or if he thinks he can do without. I could probably do without. All right. If he feels I safe mean, that, then we will go with just Xander and Joseph. With, with with just my basic equipment, I've got a 22 AC. That's pretty respectable for a magic user. I think we'll be fine as long as we don't let ourselves get blanked again. Maybe. Yeah. Depending on what um, other surprises they have for us. Fun fact, since I think I was the one that went down here when they were prepared, uh, they have like a battalion of crossbowmen. So, uh, tighten up those sphincters. As I remember, they weren't they weren't very accurate though. I don't remember anymore, but I just remember there's like nine three by three by three. Yeah, um, they're definitely not very accurate. I think they're only like plus one with their crossbow. Oh, okay. But a hail of crossbow bolts down the tunnel is quite uncomfortable, and they hit like sledgehammers. Yeah, if they're all, what, heavy? That's, what, 2d6 or something? Uh, no thank Yeah, something fucking insane. I've always felt that crossbows should have, like, insane base damage, because that's kind of, like, I mean, real-world equivalent. That's kind of what they were in real life. It's 2d6 not enough for you? What do you want? I think that's and... what he's saying, is he agrees 2d6 is a good amount of damage. Oh, yeah. No, no, I agree. It makes sense. I, I thought he was trying to get, like, he wants 2d10. I'm like, do you shut the fuck up. <laughs> I watched, yeah, one of, die. I watched one of those shows that was about the historical significance. It might have been like the the greatest warrior or something. And they were talking about the different types of crossbows. And they found on a mathematical level, the crossbow that you could effectively load and fire in one round was more significant in a battle than the one that you load and fire the next round, even though it did more damage and guaranteed someone died and that kind of stuff, just because of the raw number of bolts you were getting into the air and the chances of hitting, and even a wounded guy suffers consequences and whatnot, and that's why the hand crossbow or the light crossbow became much more common than the heavy crossbow, because the ability to shoot sometimes affects whether or not you uh, get hit before you get your shot off. The other Fair. thing is in like in that medium to close range area, crossbows are are just fucking deadly. Like that range where they're not within swords reach of you yet, but you basically can't miss them. Yeah, the crossbow doesn't have a tremendous range in the first place, so aim is a lot less significant. That was one of my favorite lines from uh Game of Thrones is when the uh the guards show up to attack uh Jurin or whatever his name is, the Night's Watch guy that's got Arya with him, and uh, one of the guy he tells off the guard, and one of his uh, allies shoots him with a crossbow and like gets him in the shoulder or whatever, and he's like, "Oh, I've always hated crossbows. You know why?" And he draws his sword. They take too fucking long to load and cuts the guy in half. <laughs> I was like, yeah, awesome. that's exactly the problem with the crossbows. You shoot it, throw it on the ground, and draw your sword before it gets close. That's true. Um, mm, I forgot to ask. I'm going to ask anyway, and if it's too late, you can let me know. Um, can I uh, start to pay homage to a, another uh, god that I think is going to be very prominent as of late? Uh, Corallon? Sorry, you want to start a new god? Uh, a, a new affiliation. Yeah. Yeah, you can be whatever affiliation you want. Cool. Uh, I wasn't. Isn't that a third for you? Yes. You I like love stacking, stacking gods. I love stacking gods. Every I can't, time I, can't I get it. because it blatantly saved me with the Shondical plus uh, Lathander thing. I love that. That was amazing. <laughs> Just keep in mind, you don't start uh, accumulating powers until you tithe. Can I just? I have no goal. Can I give you can do nothing? Ten arrows. <laughs> you can do nothing because you have no gold, and you're deciding this at the beginning of a fight. Fine. <laughs> <clears throat> Generally, we do no, no, it's, picking it's totally gods fair. when you get to town and have a buttload of treasure. You need to tithe. Yeah, no, I just forgot. That's totally fine. 
Okay. Speaking of tithing, like if I recover my own equipment, do I have to? Is that considered new treasure that I have to tithe on, or is that just? No, that's just recovering your own stuff. Yeah. Okay. Cool. If someone else recovers it, it's definitely treasure. Like if the other party gets there first. The other party. Yeah, the ones that are coming in through the north entrance. Oh. something you want to talk about no i i just i've been working on this map for so long you remember when i started this dungeon um and i'm still struggling to get the surface map done just because of the level of detail i need in it to make it functional uh it's just become a nightmare i'm i am running this campaign for a new group and hopefully by the time they get here i'll have the map, surface map done <laughs> But I was planning on doing some like random encounters on the surface, just like we were doing on the road, just to break things up so it isn't always slogging through dwarves. But the map has just been such a challenge to get the way I want, and I'm sure you guys don't actually care, but it bothers me when it isn't the way I like it. No, that's but fine. at any rate, uh, you guys can roll a perception check as you're coming down the ramp into the dungeon. Hmm. How confident are you with your breath, Vasca? Say again? How confident are you with your breath? Um, at 5d6, my average should drop them to at least negative one. Okay, what's your minimum five? Okay, so we're going to bank on seven. Got it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sure. Remember when he had four dice and he couldn't do average? Yep, okay, so we're going to assume one above minimum. Okay. I, I, uh, no, no, I As assume I'm going to roll assume I'm going to roll a single digit number. Maybe a 14. I'm, I'm going to like walk in and it's going to be like a two, a two, a three, and two ones. He'll, he'll roll a 14, but only when it's one single guy. And it's one of the level two ones, so it'll still leave him with like three hit points. Um, I'm just gonna start. I'm writing off. this down just so that I can check off these prophecies of Ferenc, <laughs> so that you guys can crucify him for his uh, choices in game. Can you make this into a bingo board? I can make it into a bingo board. That's a good idea. <laughs> we can put like uh, Ferenc in the middle, like a crucifix. <laughs> I like it. Prince dying is the freeze face because he's masochistic and he's going to die sooner or later. Okay, so Joseph doesn't have any trouble making the perception check. Um, I will... Oh, I missed it, sorry. Never mind, carry on with your life. Oh, wait. I can reroll ones now. I forgot about that. No, oh, never mind. I rolled one. Okay. <laughs> then you guys, um, as you were coming down the uh, the ramp, catch the Dwagar off guard. So we will start here with initiative. Yeah, you could have re-rolled it. You re-roll all ones? All at ones, yep. You should put that in your macros. Uh, yeah, I need. I think I have them in all my preset ones. I'm gonna have to make a skill one just for that now. Why? Why don't you have a skill one? Because they change with syn synergies and everything, and I don't want to put them both on my Google Doc and on the character sheet. Oh, okay. Laziness. Whatever. You could just put in the macro with the mod input, and you can just put in what the modifier is each time. But then it'll come up and say, this is your diplomacy, re-roll re ones with this modifier. That's true. I'm going to do that while we do this. That's how I do all of mine. All of my uh, uh, quick buttons are all inputs. And I just click the button, put in the right number, and go. 
It's not always the fastest way to do it, but it is definitely the most accurate way to do it. Okay, well, I think this is going to end very poorly for me. These dwarves were supposed to be ready. But you guys fucked around and cowered it out for one day, and now they're slacking off. I mean, based on these initiatives, I'm pretty sure they still go ahead of everyone but Vasca. Yeah, pretty close. Wow, you Vas guys suck. Did the turn order thing show up? Yeah, I just opened it. You should see it now. Or whenever Rule 20 refreshes for you. So, Joseph, you're at minus, five, minus two. So is there a is there like regular light pouring in from the outside into this section that they're avoiding or something? Uh no, they're just standing at the bottom of the tunnel shooting up because it's the most opportune place to stand. Okay. The point gonna... where the point where you guys are um is the overhang for the uh, the ramp. That's where the ground ends outside. So on the other side of that wall is uh, the ramp going up. It's a open air part of it. Okay. Well, Vasca's going to be really fucking stupid. I love it. And he's going to move here. Oh, forgot my torch. That's stupid. That's the right. That's not stupid. That's the right place. No, that's uh, incredibly stupid. It it it's yeah. This is a really really. Oh wait. Oh shit. I thought Joseph and Fair. Never mind. That is a yeah. dumb fucking. Yeah, yeah, I did not you. look. At the... No, no, we can't. Uh, Vasco is going to get reach. all nine of those crossbow bolts. I was really looking forward to seeing how confident you are. <laughs> You'd be fine. On an unrelated note, I don't have shield other on you right now. On an unrelated note, what's your backup character? Hey, Gyler. I'm going to run here. And I should be able to... Wow. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I am going to be really dumb. I'll take that five foot step. I'm, I'm just going to blast a line of fire here and hit these six. They need to make a DC 21 reflex save. This is where it gets funny. Let's see the debut. Let's see about that. Uh, those prophecies by Ferenc. Oh, I didn't make the save. Feeling the 12 here. 12 for you sure. Feel a 12? All right, 12 let's, let's roll these bones. Or less. Oh! Hey! Damn. That's, that's a spicy meatball right there. Only that's one below average. average. Do you have to comment on... Every time you comment on average, friends, I feel like you've not learned. <laughs> well, sorry, uh, Vasca. That was the only decent roll you'll get after that. Hey, he, he took out six people in one go. Yeah, like, that was pretty impressive. It's not even bad. You only need 14. After that, it's... Yeah, I, think really this is a, I feel like this is the first time he's actually claimed a kill in like three sessions. That was six what? kills. Yeah, yeah, I had four last session total. <laughs> well, there oh, you go. The You're already doing better. Kills. Okay, Xander, you're up. Um, yeah, I'll just get there. Uh, just a simple charge. To the dead guy? Uh, the southern guy. Oh, okay. Cool. How late are we going tonight? Um, I do work, so I've got 
three, uh, three hours, I think, is my absolute cutoff. Okay, so you're going to go to 11? Yeah. Okay. Works for me. Just let me know if you want to bail before that. Will do. Wow, he is fucked up. I'm going to like this combo, I think, starting now that I've got enough feats to make this work. Okay, well then it's the warrior's turn. What is that, a crit? Oh yeah, because it's a, it's a rapier or whatever. Or a great sword. That's, yeah, it's a great sword, yeah. What was that? I, I forgot their AC was bad. I didn't realize that was a crit. You crit on a 17? Uh, two times aggressor's advantage increases the luck of it. So 19 to 18 to 17. Nice. That is brutal. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, this is when your character is going to start to spiral out of control. Most people who do luck feats do reroll type stuff. So I've never had a character or player pick the things that just give static bonuses. Yeah, it, it took a lot of investment, but I think it's going to... Oh, it's for sure. Just having a 17 crit on a greatsword is fucking insane. Like, that's that's, that's a, feat, or a feat and a magic ability on a greatsword. I'm planning to go that route with Ivan with uh, skills. You just get, like, a very high luck bonus on skills, and then, like, it's, yeah. it's only plus one, but it is all skills. Like, every single one. So that starts to add up. Yeah, that's pretty good. The thing is, plus one on a skill doesn't really generally matter that much whereas getting a crit is a huge advantage with a sword especially a great sword yeah well uh that is the turn i'd like to point out uh while i did kill one uh you know he did kill six just just gonna keep that in mind Hold on, did I'm just kill that out. one or only knock him unconscious? No, he fucking cut him in half. Oh, it's so then in 51 quarters, damage? And then in eights. Uh, I was 48, yeah, with the DR. He dropped into minus 35. Fair enough. I have ruled in the past that your constitution is the amount it takes to damage your body enough that it can't be used um, for animating the dead. Oh, so. okay. I can't tell if that's low or high. What is low or high? That if you're using the con, because I feel like even 20 con minus 20 isn't a huge number. No, no, no. It's 20 beyond that. Beyond that. Oh, oh, got it. So their constitution is 17, and you took them to 35, so that would be twice their con plus one. So that would mean that you've damage the body to the point that you couldn't even assemble it to make a skeleton or a zombie. Ah, that's how I worship Lathander. I prevent my fallen from being... Okay, got it, thank you. It's something that came up in the East Marches game when they were fighting followers of Orcus um, because they kept... They'd die and the next round they'd stand up as zombies or vampires or whatever and they're like, this is fucking bullshit! They're even harder to fight the second time! Okay, so the other two dwarves will move up, and they will all attack Vasca. Oh, just one crit. But it's not confirmed. So you take 12 points, Vasca. So minus 5 is 7. Uh, yeah, you have minus five. Oh, yeah, because you have amazing damage reduction. Yeah. Unless his weapon happens to be magical for some reason. No, the first level guys don't have anything magical. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, they have scale mail, shield, war axe, and heavy crossbow. They have good, good equipment for their level, but nothing special.
Okay, uh, Joseph, you're up. All right. I will move and then five foot. And attack. Oh, I should make a will save. And turn up your gain. Sixteen is the safe. Nice. Oh wow, your will save went up by two. Did you get wisdom at some point? So it went up here and then I had the shield other modifier on. Oh, okay. But then I miss. You're my hero. Okay, then we're on deference. I will move up. Bump, 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 bump. And I will cast uh, the uh, armor skill spell. We have an actual initiative, and I will cast my silly remove paralysis. Remove paralysis? Uh, yeah, because it, it gives everyone hip, uh, temporary hit points. Re remove paralysis affects more than one person? It affects up to four people. Oh, wow. And it is a conjuration healing spell. That is so cheesy. Uh, cast to level 14. No, wait. Uh, 16, so everyone gets 16 temporary hit points. Nice. That's my turn. Okay, then we're back to initiative. Oh, that didn't help. You're up, Xander. Um, I'm going to try to acrobatics my way here. Or, I guess here. Uh, either way, just um, to go there. If that's fine. Oh, okay. You still have 30-foot movement, right? Yeah. Nice. Nice. I was gonna say it's only like a minus ten or five check to uh, to go full movement. That's fair. I'm gonna move here because I'm that much confidence in Joseph, and I'm gonna attack the back too. Ah, uh, okay. And that's the turn. I thought I would crit again. I really want to hope. That's my turn. Oh, I don't X in this, right. That's all you did? Oh, you don't I'm... have cleave. No. All luck feet. See, all the I time. I was going to double five foot step there and hopefully just mow them all down. Ah. Uh... It's fine. You, you fucked them. Too late now. Yeah, I, I have no more actions. There's my line. dexterity or saving throw, please. Just those two? 
I think that's the only ones I can get at this point. Can't you do a cone? Yeah, but I'm still only going to hit two. You can get all three. 15 foot cone, right? Oh, yeah. I can move up another square and do that, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll do that. I'll get these these three. And Xander. All right, Ferris, what's the number? I'm, I'm still feeling that 12. Oh, hey, oh. above average. It's Spicy. Broken. Why do you speak? <laughs> How many flags do you want to raise? Well, the last two times he's rolled well, so like that was even above average. There's two sixes in there. Alrighty. He just needed some bling. Clearly my last amulet of con was like defective or something. It's probably cursed. Well, it has nothing to do with the amulet of Khan. We can blame it on the Khan. You can it blame cursed. it on the Khan, but the Khan's just the DC, and they didn't make the DC. I, I, I like this amulet better. It gives me better uh, damage rolls. Clearly, that is what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. Say no to crack. Okay, what are you doing, uh, Joseph? Uh, I guess I will just move up to here. Can you turn up your gain anymore, or should I turn up my end? If mine is up as high as it can go. Okay, I'll just fix it on my end then. I can move my mic so it's like I'm deep-throating it. That's definitely better. I just turned you up to 100%. I actually had you turned down because you're so loud and obnoxious. That is fair. All right, you sound fine now. I will cast Mass, prote uh, mass Resist Fire because we all know. We all know what's coming. How long does that last for? Uh, Ten minutes per level. I'll go ahead and divine spell power while I'm at it. That is a plus two, so it lasts 80 minutes. Okay. That effect affects your caster level, too, doesn't it? Oh, that's true. So it still resists 20. Gives you 20 points instead of 10. Are we able to touch everyone, or is this just for you? It's it's not touch. It's, it's people within a 30-foot area. Damn. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty nasty spell. It works for one fireball, and then it stops working. Yeah, then they switch to something else. But you know, I'll take the one fireball. That's fair. That's one less time Ferenc is on the ground. That's my turn after that. Okay. What are you doing, Xander? Um, I guess moving. Perception? If I hear anything down the hall? Other than that, um, don't want to get ahead of Joseph, so uh, that's my turn.
Did we lose somebody? Nope. I was just uh, doing all the monster stuff while I was waiting for all right. Xander. No, and then there's I just a lot more. For I had a lot more to do than I thought. Is it because we keep not killing things? No. No. Uh, I intentionally put all those guys at the front alone with no backup so that you could kill them. <laughs> well played. Uh, I actually thought um, I thought of this today. I was like, you know what I should do? From now on, everyone who survives the fight, I should just level them up. Pull off the first level tokens and put on a second level token. That way I'll get rid of all the first level guys either way. And the fights get harder. But I thought of that after uh, I'd already set up this encounter. I was thinking that they would probably notice you without any real difficulty and surprise you and nine crossbow bolts coming down the hall all at once would fuck you up and then there would be the two backup guys that would be enough to make it a worthwhile encounter but they completely botched their check lost initiative six of them got killed and then the remaining four did nothing and then the encounter was over I mean one of them did hit me that's true it's a good thing you only have nine more hit points than normal <clears throat> you see nothing, uh, Xander. Probably yeah. the same nothing you see with your nothingness. Perfect. We should have gotten nothing vision. Great. Okay, Vasco, what are you doing? All right. Uh, we're going to go... Ooh, that's the wrong button. We're going... Uh, we're going to move here and I'm going to let out a fire breath this direction I love the paranoia okay uh, what are you doing Joseph alright I'll start moving you got to move it move it And I will stop there. Are you sure? Yep. You don't want to go just one more square? Nope. Okay, Ferenc, you're up. I will cast um, the Invisibility Purge. And I will use... Uh, actually, no, I, I won't do that yet. Never mind. There's a reason. Uh, I'll cast Lesser Stabilize on one of the or the uh, Duergar, though. Doesn't really cost me anything to. Oh, okay. I will keep pace. And that's my turn. See, see, Ferenc is changing. He's only he only lesser stabilized one, and then spent the rest of his actions keeping pace with the party. Yep, I... he's a changed man. Yeah, uh, I don't understand that, but go ahead. There's nine guys there. You choose to save one of them. He's doing better than the rest of us who are saving none. That is true. I just don't understand the point of saving one. It's to make himself sleep better at night. 